Okay, so Scott has a savings account and the effective rates of interest are given to us here. Um, he's got 5% per year during 2020, 2% per half year from the 1st of January 2021 until the 1st of July uh, 2022, and 1% per month from the 1st of July uh, uh, 2022. So we've got different interest rates, but also we're going to have a little bit more of a complex situation here with different amounts of money coming in and out of the account. So the first part of the question is relatively simple. You made a deposit of £500 into a savings account on the 1st of July um, 2020. Find out that balance when it becomes January. Okay, so it's worth just drawing a quick timeline to, to show what's happened here. I'll draw this timeline up here. So on the 1st of July, in 2020, we've got 500 pounds coming in. And then we're asked about the 1st of January, 2021. So what interest rate is in effect here? It, well, it's, it's this one, a 5%. So this is gonna be a case of doing 500 pounds multiplied by an increase of 5%, so 1.05. And if we just think about the time period involved here, it's not one because it's not a full year. Uh, because it's July to January, we know that's going to be half a year. <clears throat> and so this is a relatively straightforward start. We're going to do £500 times 1.05 to the power of a half. Okay, so far so good. Now this is when things are gonna get slightly more complicated. For part two, we're told about some further transactions. So on the 1st of January, um, he's gonna make a 300 pounds deposit. And then a year later, he's gonna deposit a further 500 pounds. And then finally, um, on this sort of last day, he's gonna, uh, so sort of last transaction, he's gonna take out 450 pounds. Uh, and then finally we're asked you know, what the bank balance would be in 2024. So let's sort of draw a couple of these timelines in, in here. Let's use this. So January 2021, we can see there's a transaction. We're going to have £300 coming into the account. A full year later, in January 2022, we're going to have, again, money coming into the account. This time it's £500. Then on January 2023, uh, we're actually going to lose money from the account. We're going to take £450 out. And then the very last thing we're asked about is actually what, what is the amount in the account now a year later, so in 2024, uh, I'll, I'll fit that on there. Okay, so we've already worked out what the, what the amount is here. So we're going to start with January 2021 and this £512.35p that's in the account. Now, the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to add £300 to this amount. Okay, because this all happens on the 1st of, uh, of January. So we're going to see what happens now to this money and, and what interest rate would be applied to this. So this £812 is going to be, there's an interest rate in effect here between, um, between January and halfway through 2022. So maybe I'll highlight that on, on this. Let me use a different colour here. The interest rate changes. So from this sort of red period that I'll highlight, the interest rate is 2% per half year. So 2%. That would be 2%. Ah, never mind. 
this would be 2% and let's put per half. And then after that, if I change colors uh, here, that'll help. After that, we've got this 1% per month. So we'll have this sort of orange period. And this orange period is 1% per month. So we can use that to, to keep track of what we're doing. Okay, so we've got this amount of money, this £812.35. If we had no further transactions, what we would do is we would simply times it by 1.02 for the 2%. And how many time periods would it be in for? What well, it's going to be in for one half year, two half years, three half years. So it's going to be in for three half years. And then we're going to switch to the next interest rate, which is 1.01. .01. And how many months would that be? Uh, well, it's in for a year and a half, uh, you know, from from July is when this kicks in uh, all the way up to the next January, uh, a, year, a year ahead. So that's going to be 18 months. Now, if we work this out, just this calculation I've written down here, we would find the amount in the account if these other transactions didn't happen. But of course, these transactions did happen. So let's let's do that. I'll maybe use a different color. Let's do let's a different red. What we're going to do is we're going to add the 500 pounds. Okay, let's get rid of that. We're going to add the 500 pounds and we're going to think about what interest rate that has. Well, it's it's here during this red period. It's here during this 2% per half year. So it's going to be 1.02. And how many half years is it in the account for? Well, we can see it's in there for one half year. And then it's also in for, for this time as well, for the 1% time. And again, it's in there for 18 months. You can see it's it's sitting there in the account the same amount of time that this £812 as was sitting into the account. Okay, but this is ignoring the fact that money's coming out of the account. So let's think about this. £450 is taken out of the account. So how we're going to reflect that here, well, what we need to do is we need to take away £450. But not only that, not only do we take away £450, we're going to take away all the interest that that £450 would have earned as well. OK, because we're not going to have that interest. So to do that, we're just going to subtract £450. If I just continue working on the next line here. 450 is going to be multiplied by, well, the interest rate it would have got was 1.01. .01. And how many months would it have been in there for? Well, it would have just been in there for, for one year. So that would have been 12 months. Okay. So to find our answer, um, I've run low on space here, but we're going to type all this into our calculator. So £812.35 times 1.02 to the power of 3, times 1.01 .01 to the power of 18, add 500 pounds times 1.02 times 1.01 .01 .01 to the power of 18, and then finally subtract 450 pounds times 1.01 .01 to the power of 12. So quite a long calculation. So I've worked that out and my calculator is telling me the answer is £1,134.13. Okay. Check that that makes sense. 300, 500 be 800. Um, plus the £500 he puts into his account here. Um, minus 450. So yeah, it's going to be around this amount when you factor in the interest. So this seems like a, a sensible answer. Key idea is use a line like this, draw the time out, and if you do have different colors available to you, mark out the different interest rates just so you're crystal clear on exactly what's happening, uh, when, and what interest rate is applying. And then finally, check that your answer um, is reasonable as well.